Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we're going to look at Open Manus. So Open Manus is the open source reproduction of the very famous Manus agents or the tools that you know got a bit hyped up in China. You know, people started saying that the deep seek 2.0 moment for China. Of course, that was not because later they said that you know it's a wrapper built on top of anthropic cloud models you know that you just browser browser use you know that goes on internet and fetches information and has a lot of other tools that you know can perform some tasks for you or you know uh, in a very uh, agentic kind of a workflow right so now uh, manus right now required invite code so it's not available for all the users and also it's not open source so that closed source now you know that's that's how the uh, ai ecosystem has been working you know when there is a closed source thing somebody in shooting from you know in any country then i kind of come up and they launch an open source reproduction of that and that's how open manus come in so if you look at here my screen i am on this uh, manna and poem open manus okay uh, it's a team by meta gpt very famous few years back they like when chat gpt was on rise there was something called meta gpt that came in and the, the developers or the researchers from there they came up with this prototype only three hours it requires a lot of work right now and of course there has been a lot of pull request you can see so the people are contributing to this repository this project has got 30k stars so which is fantastic now it's very easy to set up i was just trying it so i thought i'll show you i'll create a video and probably if you are not aware with open manus you can also work with it uh you can still use other tools to perform similar tasks you know that this can do but you know of course just wanted to cover this up so what you have to do is you have to clean clone this so you can just come and say okay let's git clone and this repository you can see i already have cloned so if you clone just copy it from here you know and then just clone this once you clone it you can see i am in this repository called open manus now i am using uv uh, to kind of handle all the python thingy like creating virtual environment installing dependencies and running it out so if you want to do that you just do uv venv you know within that folder so it will create a virtual environment you can see it has created over here now once you do that you have to add uh, dependencies right so you do just uv pip install hyphen r requirements the reason we are using uv because it's extremely faster pip has become very slow now it, of course a lot of other benefits are there but this is not a uv related video now if you just want to do uv add dependencies then you need uh, uh, project.2ml in, in that folder so that's why we are doing uv pip right and once you do that you can just you know come to this repository the the thing that you have to do is you have, if there's a config file config.2ml where we keep all the uh api keys but i'm going to show you the example.2ml so for example if you want to work with uh for example open ai models gemini models or cloud model which, which are closed source you have to put your api key and you can do some inference parameters over inference configs over here right now this is about that if you want to use Azure services or Bedrock or so whatever, you have to kind of set up like this, where you have Azure OpenAI. If you're using Bedrock, you have to use credentials, tokens, secrets, and whatnot. Now, it also supports open source models. If you want to use Olama, then you have to set, set it up like uh, using Olama. Right? So you have to do it like that. Basically, give the URL. It runs on 11, uh, that 64 port. Okay, so you have to basically do that. So make sure that you have config.2ml you just copy this file and just rename that to config.2ml i'm not going to show you because my api key is there so this is the config here are the app logic if you want to the code is also available right it's an open source so you can go and reproduce it and you can enhance this project so they have base.py you know they have a lot of code folders like manus.py where you can see how they are calling the tool call agent you know blah 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 they have a react based yeah. way to do prompting uh they have hwe agent different tools guys tools and you know you can find it out here in this all the tools browser use tool is one of the most huge tools you know in this now make sure that you install something called playwright you know because mostly it goes on internet and fetches location information you have to do playwright install or you can also do python hyphen m playwright install you know it depends on if you have playwright or if you don't have playwright so playwright is a must uh to to work with open manus 
you know, if you want to use browser views. So browser views, you can see this is a file for browser views over here. And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it works because of, of course, it, it goes into, they, they are still using async IO and of it. That makes sense because uh, Playwright has a requirement of that, but sometimes it might give you error. So you do not have to like, it's not an error. Sometimes it gives you warning. It just, the loop is not closed, but the output will get generated. So do not have to worry about it. Okay. And there are a lot of other files like Google search. There is Python, REPL, like read, evaluate, print, loop. Uh, terminate, blah, blah, blah. A lot of files are there. So you can have a look at that. Now, to run this, what we're going to do is we're going to do uv run and main.py. Now, when you do uv run main.py, you know, it, it's right now a CLI based solution, a project command line. If you are someone who wants to, you know, make this through an interface, feel free to do that, right? But I think that you can do better. Uh, you don't, probably don't need this tool to kind of run agent-based task, right? I, I'm not a big fan so far of this tool or because these are all people creating cool demos, guys. That have no value to be to, in, in my views, right? When you work for an enterprise, okay. Now here on enter your prompt, let's say create a create a plan, create a travel plan for Kazakhstan. How do we write Kazakhstan? Let me search here. Okay. Uh, okay. This one. I want to copy this thingy. Okay. Uh, Central Asia. Okay. Uh, Kazakhstan for four nights and five days under, for example, let's say maybe thousand dollar. I'm a I don't have a lot of money. So for example, if I have to travel to Kazakhstan for four nights and five days, you know, you can see it started working. Okay, it says processing your request. It goes on internet. Google search has been activated. It completed its mission. You can see it says, right. I will show you some output that I already have. You can see it already opens this browser. It's using browser use to open, goes through a lot of blog posts and, you know, travel itineraries and uh, a lot of such, such things, right? And, it kind of collects all the information and then synthesizes the response for you, but that's fine. I'll show you some output that I already have generated. If you look at here, right, I generated something for Oman. Uh, so travel plan for Oman, four nights, uh, destination, durations, budget, right? And then we have first that you go to Muscat and maybe book a hotel like Ramada, $70 per night. Uh, then you visit these things in, in uh, where is that? Sorry, in Muscat. Okay, and then night two, Jebel Sam's, night three, Nizwa, and with all the pricing, and this gives you a very good, you know, breakdown. You can see the budget breakdown uh, $588, you know, the total cost, uh, best time to visit, November to February, fantastic. Uh, currency is Oman, Omani Real, we know that, right? Uh, oh, that's. Oh, that's fine. Not a lot of difference between Oma, o, Omari, Omani Real and UST. Uh, transportation, rent a car for convenience, modest clothing, especially in religious sites. This travel plan provides a comprehensive itinerary for a memorable four night trip. Now we have got our Kazakhstan travel plan, guys. Let's see that. Now it has given in Markdown, but the, it, it didn't save it in MD. You can also prompt that. But that's fine. I can see destination is Almaty, Kazakhstan, four nights, five days under $1,000. Uh, it says arrival in Almaty. Depart from your location to Almaty. Air Astana recommended. Okay, approx. Oh, that's fine. The hotel is good. Dinner at an Indian restaurant. It knows that I'm an Indian guy, probably. You know, uh, Almaty city tour. Uh, that's fantastic, right? It, it gives you the entire itinerary. You can see $900 or something, right? Instead to check visa requirements for Kazakhstan, book flights and accommodations, and consider travel plan. Fantastic. Uh, Sometimes you can see it says IO operation on close by because the loop is already closed, right? So that's a playwright issue. I'll say that's a playwright issue, but that's a browser use issue, guys, I, I believe. But that's a playwright. That's, you should ignore this warning. Uh, you should not worry about it a lot. Okay. Now, I, I already created a Bal Balochistan blog post as well. Like something is happening, you know, in that part of the country, uh, you know, in, in, in Balochistan, in that region, basically. So these kind of tasks you can do. You can do a lot of other tasks, uh, by the way. Uh, but mostly it is browser used to kind of run a lot of things. Uh, let me write something here. Okay. I'm going to say, okay, uh, let me just do uv run main.py again. 
uh, and create a create create a blog post in in markdown file for recent y combinator investments in startups okay let's see what it does okay i want to see what it does sometimes rate limiting is also in so if you're working with free keys like gemini's and gpt or whatever it sometimes uh it, the rate limit is a problem so keep that in keep that in your mind you can see it over here right a startup directory it goes somewhere here uh but that's fine so uh, this is a good tool guys open manus you don't have to kind of like uh, do a lot of you know uh a lot of things you can see I, we got recent yc investment that's fine i'll talk about it but this tool is really good but the the, the real fun is when you can develop something from scratch watch my video where i have shown you how to create ai agents from scratch right multi-agentic systems from scratch not depending on uh, a lot of other like you can create tools but not depending on frameworks uh, to be honest so here you can see uh, recent y combinator investments in startups uh, it tells you company a b c recent investor ah okay that's fine that was a uh, i could not get it uh, that's a bs okay but anyway this is how you can use open manus here guys the ideas would be to make this as an user interface if you if you want to do that please do a user interface kind of stuff here uh for this and let me know what you come up with uh in the comment box if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks do let me know in the comment box also you can reach out to me through my social media channel I hope you like this video. If you like it, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.